read and fully understand the operator's maintenance and safety manuals before using or servicing this machine. Failure to follow operating, maintenance or safety instructions could result in serious injury. Release the warp tension. Remove the temples with an Allen key number 8. Remove the fabric from the cloth roll. Don't forget to open the two side clamps. Open the cover with spanner number 17. Lift the pressure rollers with a spanner number 17. Remove the fabric from the pressure rollers and sand beam. Put the cloth aside. Remove the dust covers. You will need following parts for the light holder. Assemble the clamp. Depending on the width of the loom you will need from 4 up to 8 clamps. In our case we need only 4. Place the clamps on the relay nozzle air tanks. Divide the clamps even over the width. If you remove the temple support it will be easier to mount the clamps and lead light bar. Remove filling cutter and temple support. Place the LED light bar and connect the cable. If the machine is not foreseen for LED light under the fabric then the cable still has to be installed. How to install new cables and connecting in the blue box is explained in separate videos. Fix the LED light bar with the O-ring. Remount the temple support and filling cutter, follow the instruction in the manual on how to position the temple support correctly. Fix the LED light bar on every clamp with an O-ring.
Replace the plastic dust covers. Open the cover and lift the pressure rollers. Put the fabric back over the sand beam. Use the display to pull up the take up. Remount the temples. Put the fabric round the pressure rollers. Lower the pressure rollers and close cover. Don't forget to close the two side clamps. In the display you can set the LED light to, continuously on, auto save for auto. Pull up the warp tension and start the loom. Thanks for watching this e-learning. Questions or remarks? Please contact us.